friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today it's Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three absolutely incredible recipes for you, kind of the end of summer inspired recipes and I'm trying my hand for the first time ever at Vietnamese rolls, so fingers crossed it goes well. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on, because I upload a meal prep every Monday in five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below. At the top, I will put my recipe website. That is where you will find all of today's recipes and every recipe I've created, as well as nutrition coaching for personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or to ask questions, links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making lemon blueberry scones. I'm so excited to kind of end out the summer recipes with one of my favorite combinations, lemons and blueberries, and one of my favorite pastries, scones. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need all-purpose flour, a powdered sugar alternative, and a granulated sugar alternative. As always, I'm using Lakanto. I have Lakanto powdered, Lakanto granulated. Love it, my all-time favorite sugar substitute. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off site-wide for you. You'll also need some light butter, fresh or frozen blueberries, salt, baking powder, some fresh lemons, and some whole milk. So to get started on our scones, we're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour to a bowl, three tablespoons of Lakanto granulated, one tablespoon baking powder, a pinch of salt, and then I'm going to zest a small lemon. Go ahead and give that a stir until fully combined. Then we're going to add one cup of blueberries and we're going to kind of toss those in with the flour. That's going to prevent the blueberries from sinking in our scones because they'll be coated with some flour. And then we're adding three quarters of a cup of whole milk and we're going to mix this together just until combined. Make sure you do not over mix or your scones will come out a little bit on the rubbery side. And then the last thing we're doing is adding six tablespoons of light butter and we're just going to kind of chop that into our mixture. Then we're going to add our mixture to a surface of your choice. I'm just using one of these sill pats. This works actually really good to spread this out. And then we're going to do our best to shape it into a ball of dough and then we want to flatten it out into a circle. And then we're going to cut it into six scones. I mean, you can really do whatever shape that you want to. I'm going to try to stick with the traditional triangle scone shape. So I went ahead and transferred my scones to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. They're going into a 400 degree oven for about 16 to 18 minutes. We are going to make some glaze while they're in the oven. So to make the glaze, I'm going to add two cups of Lakanto powder to a large four cup, I think this is four or five cup, with the spout. That's going to be easier to drizzle the glaze over the scones. And then I'm going to zest another small lemon, squeeze in the juice of those two small lemons that we zested. And then give that a quick stir. We want to make sure we get the right consistency of glaze, so we don't want to add too much liquid versus our powdered Lakanto. So we are going in a little more liquid. This is just some more of that whole milk. And I like to say add liquid until you get the right consistency. Less is always better because you can add more, but you can't take away. And actually it looks like that's about all the milk that I will need. So we have a nice, perfect lemon glaze for the scones. I just pulled the scones out of the oven. They smell and look amazing. These are huge. I'm going to go ahead and transfer them over to this piece of saran wrap that I just put out on my counter, allow them to cool completely, and then we'll add the glaze. So our scones are nice and cooled, and like I said, I made this in this pitcher because it does have the pour spout. So what I'm going to do is just drizzle the glaze right on top of the cooled scones. So 
So here are the finished lemon blueberry scones. These look incredible. I cannot wait to have these for breakfast. I'm going to pair them with some type of protein. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I'm trying my hand for the very first time at Vietnamese spring rolls. I ate these a lot a few years ago when Tori had surgery in Seattle. It was my go-to lunch. It was healthy, it was fresh, it was delicious, and I found a recipe and I'm super excited to make them for lunches this week. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need some Lakanto granulated. Don't forget I do have a 15% off discount code down below for Lakanto. Peanut butter, soy sauce, cucumbers, lettuce of your choice. I'm using green leaf lettuce, raw or cooked shrimp, spring roll wrappers, and rice noodles. So I put my shrimp into a small skillet. I'm just going to cook the shrimp all the way through. And then I have a big pot of water coming to a boil. I'm going to cook that entire pack of rice noodles. What's ever left over we'll have for dinner. Okay, here goes nothing. So I went ahead and drained and rinsed my noodles. I have my shrimp, cucumber, lettuce, and plate. So what we need to do is put some boiling water onto a dish. You want a little bit of a ledge on the dish and then you're immediately going to place your wrapper into the boiling water so that it can soften up. Be careful with your fingers. And then we're going to transfer the softened wrapper onto another plate. Okay, it's not as hot as I thought that it was going to be. And then we're ready to stuff it with all the goodness. So first thing we're going to do is add some fresh lettuce, cucumber, shrimp, and the rice noodles. And then it says just to basically roll it up. And it's very, very pliable. Oh goodness, this is the stressful part. I think I probably should have maybe rolled the edges too to keep everything inside. So they're not the prettiest because you can't see the shrimp. So maybe next time I'll do it a little different where you can see the shrimp, but I'm going to just set this aside and then roll out the rest of the rolls. So I got better at rolling them the further along I went. Now they're not perfect. They look absolutely delicious though. Let's go ahead and make the peanut dipping sauce. So for the peanut sauce, I added one tablespoon of peanut butter to a mason jar. I'm just going to shake it up. I think that's going to be the easiest way to mix it. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of Lakanto granulated, and then a couple tablespoons of hot water. You can also add sesame seeds and chili oil if you would like. And then we're going to shake that up. And there is the peanut sauce for the Vietnamese rolls. So here are my rolls for the week and my peanut sauce. I ended up making four Vietnamese rolls, so I'll have one each day with one quarter of the peanut sauce. And let me put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For dessert or a sweet treat this week, I'm making pineapple banana bread. I'm really, really excited for this. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need vanilla extract, all-purpose flour. I'm going to use honey. You can also substitute sugar-free maple syrup. That's going to lower the points. I will put the points on the screen using the syrup. And then if you decide to use honey, just swap that out in your recipe builder. Fresh or frozen pineapple, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, unsweetened applesauce, eggs, Pretty ripe bananas, you need three. Salt, baking soda, and cinnamon. So for our bread, the first thing we're going to do is add two cups of flour to a large bowl, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda. This is a half of a teaspoon, so I'm going to do two of those. And then it calls for half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to do at least a tablespoon. I want it to be very cinnamon forward. Go ahead and give that a stir just to mix those dry ingredients together. Now we're going to add our bananas. So what I'm going to do is kind of smush it up in the peel and then add the smushed banana to the dry ingredients. We're going to add in a quarter cup of the Greek yogurt, one full egg and two egg whites. three tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce, 
the honey or the maple syrup, whatever you choose to use. Again, I will make sure to include the points on the screen for the sugar-free syrup. That's going to really lower points and calories. I'm trying to stick with a little bit more cleaner foods, as you know, so I'm going to use honey, and again, just add honey to your recipe builder if you opt for honey as well. And then we're adding in about a half of a cup of fresh or frozen pineapple. And then we're going to stir all of that together. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then spray a loaf pan or mini loaf pans, whatever your preference is, with some nonstick cooking spray. And then your bread's going into your 350 degree oven until cooked through. The banana pineapple bread is out of the oven. I'm going to allow it to cool completely, pop it out of my little silicone mold, slice it up, and I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for another weekly meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that we created today. I'm pretty happy with how the Vietnamese spring rolls turned out. They look delicious, and who doesn't love a good peanut sauce? And then we have scones, we have pineapple banana bread. It's a summer inspired meal prep. And if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Again, all of the recipes are on my website, which is linked in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.